In this video we will compare the SA315B Lama with its successor, the H125, former designation AS350. On the internet and among pilots there are many different opinions about this subject. I must admit that this comparison is a bit like comparing apples and oranges. Nevertheless, let's try it. To begin, I will give you a brief introduction to both helicopter types and I will make it clear why it's difficult to compare these two types of machines together. In addition, I have a rational reason for doing it anyway. We start with the SA315B Lama, which first flight was in 1969. It was developed by the French company Aerospatial to meet the Indian Army's requirements. They asked for a light helicopter with exceptional hot and high performance. The Indian Army needs such machines at the Siachen Glacier, which is located at very high altitudes in the Karakoram Mountains. The resulting new helicopter consisted of parts of the Alouette 2 and the Alouette 3 helicopter series and fully satisfied the Indian Air Force. With the prototype of this helicopter, they performed takeoffs and landings at around 6800 meters. The helicopter provides space for one pilot and four passengers. The Lama has a large performance margin in hot and high conditions, due to the reason the turbine isn't working on its maximum power. While flying in thinner air, the pilot is permitted to pull more pitch angle of the main rotor blades, because the gearbox load gets reduced, and the turbine is still able to compensate for the power loss occurring in thin air and the power required at high rotor pitch angles. On a side note, there is also an Indian license built Lama version called Hall Chital, which is equipped with a newer, more powerful engine that increases performance. The Lama set the world record. On the 21st of June 1972, Jean Bullet climbed with the Lama to 12,442 meters, a record that has only been unofficially beaten on the 25th of March 2002 by the French pilot Frederic Nord who climbed to 12,954 meters with an AS350 B2 Acura. About this AS350 we will speak right now. The helicopter's early name was AS350 and its maiden flight was 1974. Aerospatial's goal, unlike in the development of earlier helicopters, was to design and build the AS350 for the civil market. For this reason the economy was of primary importance. The company achieved significantly lower production costs and reduced the maintenance effort. Also the selling price was lower compared to earlier models and the fuel consumption of the new turbine was drastically reduced. A new rotor head system was introduced called Starflex. In Europe the helicopter is known under the French nickname Ecureuil. In the United States it is more commonly known as the A-Star. Aerospatial later became Eurocopter and then Airbus helicopters. Now Airbus helicopter sells the AS350 under the name H125. The helicopter can carry one or two pilots and with one pilot up to six passengers. The H125 also set records. As already mentioned on the 25th of March 2002, the French pilot Frederic Nord climbed to 12,954 meters with an AS350B2 Acura and has unofficially beaten the old Lama's altitude record. On the 14th of May 2005, Didier Dessal touched down with his AS350B3 on the top of Mount Everest at 8848 meters. On the 29th of April, a Swiss crew, Daniel Aufenplatten and Richard Lerner, rescued three Spanish alpinists, one at a time, at an altitude around 7000 meters. The record was increased in May 2013 as an AS350B3 performed the world's highest longline rescue operation on Lotse, the world's fourth highest mountain located in the Himalayas at 7800 meters. Side note, this record was not flown by a test pilot under special conditions, but rather in regular flight operations, outside the flight envelope allowed by the manufacturer. In the case of an accident, the insurance would not have covered any costs. Why is it difficult to compare these two types of machines together? Well, the reason is simple. The Lama is an old design of a helicopter. It is a sprightly old timer now. The H125 is indeed also an old design, but it has been improved several times over the years. 
What does this mean now for our comparison? This means that from this point of view it's unfair to compare a 20th century machine with a 21st century one. My rational reason for doing it is that you logically compare a predecessor model with a successor model. But in fairness we must compare the old and the current version of the H125 with the Lama. Now let's compare the models and find out which chopper performs better. We begin with the old first AS350 face to face with the Lama. In early days in the field of Swiss air transportation, the SA315B Lama was the undisputed leader. The Lama was well known for its qualities such as rusticity, reliability, sturdiness and the ability to lift a considerable suspended load. In 1979, the first company in Switzerland received its AS350. The AS350 was cheaper, much faster, quieter, required less maintenance and burned less fuel as the Lama. However, the AS350 could not compete with the Lama in terms of lifting capacity. The Acura reached soon its operational limits at higher altitudes and under warm conditions. Let's summarize. The two machines were complementary machines. The Lama more suitable for heavy work at high altitudes such as the supply of construction sites or logging. The AS350 for the transportation of passengers and to supply alpine meadows and mountain huts. Each machine for its purpose. Now let's compare a current modern H125 with the Lama. Could it finally beat the SA315B in its remaining category, the heavy construction work at high altitudes? In all other categories, the H125 now has the crown. Additionally, the H125 has computers like FADEC, Full Authority Digital Engine Control, which automatically controls the engine and it's equipped with a state-of-the-art glass cockpit. The short answer is yes, the H125 can lift more weight, up to 1400 kg at sea level, the Lama up to 1135 kg also at sea level. Keep in mind, these are very optimistic values for both types of helicopters. For the long answer we must dig a little, but again, to say it right up front, in most situations today, the H125 is the leader. It covers a wide range of missions. Today it is one of the most successful single-engine helicopters in the world. During my research, I have heard some feedback from pilots who are in favor of the Lama under certain circumstances. Pilot and CEO of the Swiss company Air Zermatt, Gerold Biener, stated that he believes rescues up to 8000 meters could be possible with an SA315B Lama. Another pilot from the same company told me about concrete transporting to the mountain construction site Klein Matterhorn, located at 3800 meters in the Swiss Alps. On a warm summer morning, he was able to lift the same weight of 650 kg of concrete with the Lama and the H125. As it got warmer and warmer throughout the day, the H125 has struggled even with 550 kg. The Lama still lifted the same weight as in the morning. Another point to add is the empty weight of the helicopter. The H125 approximately weighs 1280 kg. The SA315B Lama approximately 1100 kg. Every kilogram less machine weight you have to lift is 1 kg more you can lift as payload. We have also to consider the Lama was specially designed for outstanding hot and high performance. The H125 wasn't. All to today, the H125 is the best modern high altitude specialist. The company HeliAction in Russia operates both types of helicopters in the Caucasus Mountains, at altitudes up to the height of Mount Elbrus at 5642 meters. A HeliAction pilot told me he prefers over 4000 meters the Lama. According to him, at this altitude it has a much faster power request response, which can be dramatically important. The higher you fly, the less difference you feel between the Lama and the H125. Over 5000 meters, performance becomes more or less the same, despite almost two times difference in power of the engines. In summary we can say, that the H125 has successfully replaced the SA315B Lama. In some situations, and that is remarkable, it can still be today that the Lama can make a difference. 
Of course, only in thin air when it's hot and or at high altitude, where the llama belongs. Then over this magical threshold, the llama is probably still today able to outperform a modern H125 in terms of lifting capacity. And if not the primal llama, then most likely the modernized Indian Hall Cheetal. If you're a real pilot and have flown both machines on the edge of its flight envelope and can compare the current 2022 version of the H125 with the Lama, so let me know in the comments. I'm curious about your experience. Thank you for watching.